Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Hull City and they take on Cardiff City. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And this is how the starting lineup looks for Hull City. Well, when you play in a 3 5 2 formation, the position of the wing backs is key. If they drop too deep, you can't dominate possession. And if they play too high, you leave the centre backs exposed. They have to get the balance right. And the starting 11 for Cardiff City. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And so the battle commences. Wintel with it. And clears the danger. Committed challenge. Davis nicely cut out well not the greatest pass easily intercepted Rawls Doyle well they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing now a shame that he couldn't find the target from there Richard Smallwood Tom Eaves Good looking ball And so it will be a corner Delivering it. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Well, he likes to run at them. And very deftly cut out. An example of how to press. Doyle well timed tackle Wintle with it Davis Rawls well they must exercise caution standing off as they are 
At times they make passing look easy. It might be on for them. He has time to play it over. Smallwood. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Could be troublesome. Rawls. And taking it away. Doherty. Smallwood on the ball. I must say, this looks promising. Offside the decision. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Oh, could be! Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Smallwood. That is that for the first half here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the battle commences. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. And using his strength to shield the ball. Richard Smallwood. Eves. Well, it's one pass after another. Tom Eves. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Davis Hugo and he read it superbly and breaking at pace with Menace an incisive pass decent position Now can they make something happen? It should be! Can't sit back. He's got to score! And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. So 2-0 now. Thirty minutes to go then. Rawls. Rawls. Hugo. Wintle with it. Hugo. Rawls. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Excellent defending. Wintel with it. Rawls moving it forward. An attack full of promise. A wonderful intervention. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Takes it on. Really good diving save. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. Who can he pick out? So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Played over, and the danger is averted. And offside, unfortunately. Making progress. Good looking ball. George Honeyman with it. Is it going to be? Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. So the corner played into the box. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Five minutes to go. Aidan Flint. Hugo. Can he do it? And a goal! They've cut into the lead! It's not settled yet!
Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Well, thumped clear. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team. And they deserve their victory. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.